What's up, Piper Drivers? Today in the house, I got the first sequel trilogy lightsaber that I've done in a long time. I have the Princess Leia lightsaber from The Last Jedi. In this video, we're gonna go over where you can pick this lightsaber up, how much it costs, and all of the features that it comes with. So let's get to this. Welcome back Hyperdrivers and newcomers. I am the Medina Lorian and here on the Hyperdrive we talk about Star Wars news, collecting and video games. If you like the content that you see on this channel, please give us a thumbs up so you can let the YouTube algorithms know that we're doing a great job. Hit that subscribe button and punch that bell so that you can jump to light speed every week with us right here on the Hyperdrive. All right, so as I stated in my intro, in this box right here is the Princess Leia lightsaber from Star Wars The Last Jedi. I picked this one up over at Deluxe Sabers. It runs $399 if you want to get the Xenopixel option, or you can bump up for an extra 50 bucks and you can get the Profi Board, which is what I got it installed with on this one right here. Um, either one works out really good though. It's because both of them give you the option to adjust blade styles and blade colors and sound fonts as well. So you get a lot of customization with either option that you choose. I just, I'm used to Profi and that's what I like to pick up. So anyway, you get this really cool carrying case. This is my favorite style carrying cases. They make it easy to go to the, uh, the, the cons with and everything. You get a combination padlock system on it. So a combination lock system. And then you pop it open. I love the sound of that. <laughs> and inside, you're gonna get a few things. So you're gonna get the traditional style lock uh, uh, tools. So you get uh, an Allen wrench and you get some Allen uh, bolts to tighten up your, your blade. You get this, this is a, a bigger version of the Allen wrench, which I like, really cool. Makes it a little easier to do your installations. You get a display stand that you can build, right? You get a blade plug, your blade plug. You get some instructions that come on cards for this one. So you get a few instructions right there. Tell you how to work your lightsaber. All right, you get a charging cable. If I get it out of the box, you get a charging cable. You're still gonna need to get yourself a brick to plug it into, or you can, you know, get something that just has a bunch of USB installed uh, plugs available to you. You get your blade. All right, so you get your blade, and it comes covered. But there you go. It's a pro, um, a NeoPixel blade. There you go. And then lastly, you get the lightsaber. And then you drop the box. <laughs> but you get this lightsaber, which I think is extremely beautiful lightsaber. Say what you will about the, uh, the sequel trilogies. One thing they did get pretty right is a lot of the tech and, and, uh, and, and props. A lot of the props on, from the new uh, movies are really, really cool. And I love the design of Princess Leia's lightsaber. This one right here is really cool because it has uh, both chrome and then you have kind of like a rose gold uh, going on there. So it's very elegant. It's very comfortable in your hand. It's very smooth, you know, uh, thin, so it's easy to hold. I also like that there's openings in the emitter so that when you turn the lightsaber on, you're gonna see the, the color shine through the emitter section right there, which is great. It's a single button system for this one. So you have that. All right, there is your handle. And like I said, it's very comfortable. Only thing with this one, with all the chrome, it's definitely gonna leave fingerprints, I know it. So <laughs> getting fingerprints all on my lightsaber right here. And then you have your D-ring right here so that you can attach it to your belt, all right? And then you also have uh, LED lights as well as the, uh, the plugs for your, for your NeoPixel so that when you turn it on, you got a light that shines right through. So that's cool, all right? So let's get a blade installed in it and I'll show you what this thing could do. So to install the blade, there's several screws at the very front of the emitter where it plugs into. There's not a lot of depth on this emitter right here, so the blade doesn't go in very far. It doesn't give you a wiggle when you're shaking the lightsaber like this, but when you smack, you do get a little bit of a wobble when it does smack. So that's kind of normal, I think, when you hit a blade, you know? So these are the features that you get with the saber. You do not get any gesture turn and turn off, so you don't get that option, unfortunately. You do get the ability to play some sound, so if you just press the button four times, it starts to play some music. So that's cool. Dun, 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 dun. Dope. All right, so you can turn on music on and off like that. If you press the button once, it ignites the blade. All right, you get smooth swing, which sounds really good. All right, 
works re really good. It's got a very nice hum to it, and it's pretty loud, okay? Blade clash, when it hits, you also get stab. That's dope, okay? You get blaster bolts. And if you press and hold the button, you get blade clash, okay? You turn off the blade by holding the button down until it turns off, and that's how it shuts off. To switch over to the next sound font, which there's a lot of sound fonts, you press and hold the button for a little bit, and it changes over, okay? And again, all this stuff can be changed to your own customization by programming the, uh, the sound fonts and, and the blade colors and all that. So this is not something that's set in stone, this is just what comes with it, okay? Press and hold to shut off. Let's see what else we got. This one's got kind of like a flame effect to it. Pretty neat. Very cool, I like that one. There's even a Sailor Moon on this one. <laughs> Never heard that one before. Rise with me, Skywalker. All right, you get a little cyan color right there. The colors are nice and bright. Really like that blade tip effect. That's pretty cool. I like that I don't have to press something to make that work. Again, this has a nice ice white color, cyan color to it. This one's kind of a light orange color to it. Can only, can't even see the blade color from that. This is that color. There's Princess Leia. And again, I love how the blade color comes out of the emitter like that. So you can see the, the light through that, which is neat. And sounds really good. Nice and loud. It's got a, it's loud, but not too loud, which I like. All of the sound emits from the very back of the, of the pommel. All right, and you don't block it by holding it with two hands. So that's good too. Let's see one more. Never like me. I am ready. That is a nice purple. Magenta-ish, but it's got kind of a purple hue to it. Very difficult to see, I know, with the camera because it comes out almost white on here, but that actually looks really good. <laughs> I love that. That would make it easy for blade drag, you know? <laughs> so that's it. That is the Princess Leia lightsaber. And that's gonna about do it for me with this one, guys. I like this lightsaber. I think they did a really nice job on it. I love the look of the hilt. That's first and foremost, the thing that I like the most about it. It's much more of an improvement for me over the uh, Hasbro and the Disney one that I used to have. Uh, it's got a nice chrome effect to it. So it's nice and pretty. It's very elegant. It's nice in the hands and very comfortable. Uh, which I like about it. The other feature that I like a lot about this one is the blade melt and the tip drag. I like that you don't have to press a button to make that work, that it just hits and then it works just from doing that because having to remember to hit the button sometimes for me can be a little bit confusing, but you know, that's just me. Uh, so I like that it just comes on as I need it. So it just I can feel the emotion and I can get into it and that, and that would work out really good. And I like that it has a lot of different sound fonts already built into it. So there's, there's quite a bit for you to go into when you get this one and you can do customization like i said which always works out to be fun when you're uh when you're actually getting your own getting into this you know so that's my thoughts on it i think they did a great job if you're going to pick one up make sure you head over to deluxe sabers and until next time may the force be with you